Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. Hi Capricorn, this is the first out of three spreads, the Be Aware spread. We have the Eight of Pentacles clarified by the Three of Pentacles. We have the Five of Wands clarified by uh, Death. We have the Five of Swords clarified by the Ten of Swords. And we have the Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, I think this is about work. Yeah, and uh, what I think you should be aware of is a small difference of opinion um, or a small heated discussion could escalate into a major, major fight, right? And uh, you will be forced to quit the job. You will be forced to leave. Or you may compulsively leave. That's what you should be aware of. But uh, as a result of that, you will later be feeling left out in the cold, and I think you're going to be feeling uh, like you made a mistake, Capricorn. So, that's what we have so far. Let's talk about this real quick. The Eight of Pentacles, the first card I came out, is clarified by the Three of Pentacles. Both of those two cards could be considered as work, business, and finances, and I think that's what they represent here, right? One clarifying the other, definitely a workplace environment or a business place environment. So here comes the Five of Wands, and then we also have the Five of Swords right next to it. Two Fives. Both Fives represent fights, um, <clears throat> to be honest with you, the five of ones does not always represent like a major fallout or a major severing ties. The five of ones could be a heated discussion. The five of swords, on the other hand, the last card that came out, is definitely a severing ties, a breakup or somebody slamming the door on the way out. This is a card of um, an ugly separation. So since we got the five of ones and then the five of swords right next to it, <clears throat> yeah. Something is going to escalate, and uh, the Ten of Swords clarifying the Five of Swords is a card of an abrupt ending, so, yeah, that's, that's what you should be aware of. Um, a small difference of opinion may escalate, or you may be, um, you know, acting compulsively. You know, I'm not judging you, we all, you know, act compulsively every once in a while, but uh, this time around, Capricorn, yeah, it's going to be bad unless you really want to quit that job okay um, but the five of pentacles on the bottom of the deck this is a card of uh, somebody feeling left out in the cold and somebody feeling like they don't have enough money right so perhaps you're gonna be you're gonna start looking for a new job and uh, you're not gonna be able to find one right away and you may experience some financial difficulties with that five of pentacles all right so that's what you should be aware of uh, let's take a look at the advice spread real quick Here's the advice spread for you, um, Capricorn. This is from your perspective. This is what you need to do, or at least take into consideration. We have the Nine of Wands, clarified by the Six of Swords. We have the Five of Cups. Then we have Temperance and the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Uh, Temperance is the only major arcana card here. I think in the first spread we also had just one major arcana card. So I think it can be avoided. You know, Tem Temperance is a card of patience. Temperance is a card of just you know remaining calm. Uh, it's a card of balancing things out, right? This is a very calm energy with the Temperance card. And I think that's the advice for you, Capricorn, to be honest with you. Just be patient. Unless you really want to quit that job. If you do, then, yeah, do whatever you want. You can still do whatever you want, but this is the advice, right? Temperance could be a Sagittarius, but most likely it's a card of uh, patience. If you need to take a break, if you need to take a day, just do it. Right, the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck, perhaps you do need to unplug, take some time off, perhaps you've overworked yourself, you burnt out, you know, but um, yeah, the Five of Cups in the middle is um, a card of a regret and grief, and uh, the Nine of Wands, the first card I came out, this is a card of a wounded warrior, somebody who's uh, gone through something, and uh, the Six of Swords clarifying the Nine of Wands is a card of an improvement, it's a card of moving out of choppy waters towards calmer waters, and I think this is also part of the suggestion. Just you know, if you need to, don't get in, don't get into any uh, fights, Capricorn, because I think you will regret it later. If at all possible, do avoid it, unless it is unavoidable. Even if it is unavoidable, just remain calm. Just you know, have a normal adult conversation. That's that's what I can. That's the only thing I can think of, Capricorn, by looking at these cards.
All right. So yeah, let's move on to spread number three. Spread number three is um, the next good thing that will happen to you in the near future. Capricorn, here's the next good thing that will happen to you that will at least put a smile on your face. Um, we have uh, the Ace of Wands clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. Then we have the um, <clears throat> Eight of Wands clarified by the Six of Wands. And we also have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. Um, we got a lot of fire and water and the heart and the and the Taurus. <laughs> so it could be a Taurus or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Right? We also have Pentacles, but uh, I don't think that counts. Anyway, yeah, somebody who is very fiery, very passionate, and at the same time very loving is coming your way. Right? This is a, a good combo, if you ask me. The Ace of Wands. Could be a fire sign indicator. We also have the eight of ones and the six of ones right next to the deck, right? Um, but uh, the ace of ones is a card of passion, you know, a passionate new beginning or a new beginning with a fire sign, right? And it's classified by the seven of pentacles. The seven of pentacles is a card of waiting. So I think this is somebody who has been waiting for you or they've been waiting for a particular occasion or for, for, for something, <laughs> right? They've been waiting and now in October, at some point in October, they will believe that uh, the time is now. Uh, they have uh, achieved what they were waiting for. For some of you, they could have been waiting for their financial um, situation to improve. Or they were waiting for something to finish. Because the, the thing about the uh, Seven of Pentacles, it's not only a card of waiting. This is a card of uh, somebody who's already done some work and now they're waiting for the results. right? So perhaps they're waiting for something to finish. And uh, now that's that's done, here they come with an Ace of Wands and a Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or uh, it's a very romantic gesture. The Knight of Cups is the knight in the uh, shining armor. This is um, this knight is often called uh, it's you know the most romantic knight out of all four knights. So do expect a very passionate person, <laughs> and also expect a very romantic gesture. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, this is them wanting to get the show on the road with you, wanting to start a cycle with you, a serious cycle. It's a major arcana card. Then we have the Eight of Wands, classified by the Six of Wands. So, yeah, the Eight of Wands is uh, a card of communication or somebody literally coming over, you know, traveling to see you. Or perhaps the two of you could get in a car or, or on a plane or, you know, on a train and travel together somewhere. The Six of Wands, clarifying that Eight of Wands is a card of uh, victory, success. It's a card of feeling good about what's going on, about which, what's, uh, how you're being treated. And uh, back in the day, the Six of Wands used to be called the Proposal card, Capricorn. So yeah, keep that in mind. And uh, speaking of proposals, the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck could be a Taurus you're dealing with, or the Hierophant is a card of something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. It's also a very spiritual card, so you're connecting with this person on multiple levels. Um, yeah, this looks very promising. It starts off with the, Knight, with the uh, Ace of Wands, then the Knight of Cups shows up, joins that Ace of Wands. <laughs> so passion meets uh, uh, r romance. And then things are going to get serious between the two of you. All right? So, yes, Capricorn, that's what I have for you for this reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Capricorn, have an amazing October.